Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and my workshop. So Gordon and I are gonna go flying in about a half an hour from now. So in the meantime, I'm going to show you what I've been doing to get the Super Duty ready to attach the wings. First thing here, we have four struts. And I forgot the Super Duty has four, unlike my cruiser that just has one. The first thing I've done to both of the main, the big struts here, is cut off this corner. If we take a look at the Zenith plans, you can see that they give us the dimensions here, 17 millimeters in and 66 millimeters uh, that way. And uh, that corner just gets cut off. So I got out my trusty old Dremel tool and sliced off the corner. Now just to even it up and make it nice, I put it on the disc sander here just to get a real nice flat surface. Next I used my file to remove some of the scratch marks from the belt sander. So I got it as smooth as I could with a file and you'll see in just a minute I'll go over it again with sandpaper. Once I was done here, I have two sharp corners here. So I just want to very slightly round off those corners. Well, I guess I didn't show it, but anytime I file something, I always go over it with 400 grit sandpaper just to really get it nice and smooth. So here's a picture of both struts. You can see the one corner is cut on the one strut and I still have the other one to do. Those of course are both complete now. I have both of the main struts cut. And then also, if you look in the plans, you're going to slice off a little bit of the back corner of the uh, two smaller aft struts. Now the next thing I did was work with this steel piece here. You'll get two pieces like this and you'll have to drill the holes in here in the spar, or I mean in the, the strut. But if you wanna see how I did that, go back to, I think it was episode 91 where I, I showed you how I drilled these. So I did the exact same procedure to drill the holes through here and here. And then uh, the way it comes from Zenith is just a big square like this and they need to be rounded here and I'll have to drill a hole in here yet too. But uh, the first thing I did was make this nice and round. Now I will do that to this one. Now to get a nice even uh, round edge on here, I put a washer in here like this and then just traced around it like that. But if you'll notice when I put this washer in, because it hits right here, it sticks out a little bit too far on the top here. So what I did was I, I took a different washer and I just quickly ground it down a little bit in my grinder. And now I can put it in. I can make sure this is flat here so it's a continuous curve. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and trace that right here like that. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a nice line there. We'll flip it over and we'll do the same thing on this side. Just like that. And we also have these two steel fittings for the upper part of this strut. And it looks like those will need rounded off too. So you'll have four of them to do total. Now, in order to cut these, the first thing I'm gonna do is clamp them down to the workbench. All right, next, I'm gonna get out my trusty Dremel. I'm gonna make some noise and some sparks. Now let's do it. Well, you'll notice what I've done with a Dremel is simply slice off a corner. So I just made two straight cuts. 
can't really curve that with a Dremel, it's a little hard to do. So what I'm going to do next is flip it over and cut off these two corners and then I'll take it to the grinder and make it nice and round. Hey guys, watch what this does when I turn it on. <laughs> it starts walking across the hangar floor. What the heck? There it goes. I moved my sander or my grinder out into the grass so it doesn't walk around. And as you can see, I'm just kind of rolling this piece on the grinding wheel to round the whole edge. Now to really polish those edges smooth, I brought it into my Scotch-Brite wheel and I'm using that for the edge and then also the corners, the outside corners, I can grind off all the burrs. You'll notice that there's also going to be burrs on the inside here in that slot. And the best way I found to get rid of those burrs is with my Dremel and my sanding disc. Well, here's what it looks like finished up. It's all nice and smooth now and uh, it's ready to install back into the strut. Actually, I think before I put this in the strut, I'll finish kind of sanding off this black on here and get a coat of primer on these. But you can see how they go on. They'll go on just like that. So I'll just kind of measure for the hole in there and drill the hole in there and have that all ready to go. All right, one other thing I want to show you is you'll notice this one here, how I can push it right in, put the bolts in and it's ready to go. But you'll notice on this one, it's really, really tight in there and I can't pull it out. I'll show you an easy way to get that out. All right, all you have to do is put a couple clamps on it this way, like this, and it starts to squeeze that strut and open it up just a little bit. Let's see if this is enough to, to get it. Let me come around to this side of the camera. Now, I can start to move it. It's still tight, but it lets me get it out. And obviously when you're squeezing this, it's opening the strut that way. Well, both of these lower strut fittings are now complete other than the hole that I have to drill in here. So I'll, I'll put this on a drill press and uh, drill those holes, get a coat of primer in here, and then they're ready to bolt back into the bottom of the strut. All I have to do is get the hole drilled in that bottom strut attach fitting and get it bolted into the aft strut and the, the struts are ready to go. So everything here now is ready. All I need is about three or four other people to come over and help me lift up the wings while I attach them and drill the aft spar. Actually, the hole matches there, but the aft spar gets drilled here. So it's ready to go, but you know, it could sit here for a month like this until I can coordinate enough people to come over and give me a hand. Well, I can take care of drilling that hole in a lower strut fitting. Once I do, the struts will be ready to go. And in the next video, we'll be attaching the wings to the fuselage. I just don't know when that video is going to come out because I don't know when we're going to do that. In the meantime though, I'll be out flying the pits. See ya.